Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2019 Florida IRT Pro-Am. Dean Bear here, voice of the IRT. Courtside, Fabio Soto. Second match, getting ready to go. They are ready, and we're up. Rocky Carson, the number two seed, taking on Eduardo Portillo. Let's tell you how Mr. Portillo got here. So, he took out Joe Kelly in the round of 64s and Robbie Collins in the round of 32s, and he's facing Rocky Carson. So, Fabio, what do you expect from this particular match? Well, I like Eduardo Portillo. You know, he's a native from uh, San Luis Potosí, Mexico. He's one of the best junior players in Mexican racquetball history, so very de highly decorated junior player, and he's been trying to play full-time on tour, so I expect him to see flying on the court, making a gigantic effort. He's faced Rocky Carson before, and, uh, you know, I think Rocky Carson, this is a good match for him to start up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling up the head-to-head -head matchup now for uh, Portilla and Carson. I expect big things from, um, from uh, Eduardo Portilla coming up. Uh, I've watched him uh, play now for a while, and he's just, um, you know, he, he's, he's very athletic. You know what I mean? He is. He takes a very strange backhand. Um, you know what I like about him is his reach. He's just, he's all over the court, but nevertheless, even though he has good cardio, uh, he has a great reach because he's really long arms. His arms go down to his knees. So he's a really good player in that sense. Just playing with him, you have to be really, really offensive. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of offensive, these two have never played. Uh, according to Pro Racquetball Stats, Dot com, Mr. Todd Boss, tail of the tape. Um, these these players have never played each other on tour. Portier's win loss record nine and five. Not bad, not bad. Nine and five. Rocky Carson's win loss record five hundred and sixty one, and to two hundred and twenty two losses. So, Portia. You know, I was watching Portillo uh, play Robbie Collins last night. His serves were not on point. So in order for him to take on someone like a Rocky Carson, the same thing as we talked about before with Thomas Carter playing Kane Waslinchuk, you know, the serve needs to be on. And you did, and you're right. I mean, Eduardo Portillo had some matches to warm up and get used to this yesterday. Again, he's a native from San Luis Potosí. That's his hometown. That's where he plays at Deportivo Potosino. And, you know, he, this is a factor. How do you do though. that? <laughs> <laughs> what, how is he, that? He plays in the I Club, need to de get better at that. Club Deportivo Potosino. His <laughs> coach is Ruben Martinez. I know him personally. No, but I'm mentioning that because where Eduardo Portillo plays, he's at about 5,000 feet of elevation. So he, getting used to sea level, you know, he has to make some adjustments. But he, he is in the round of 16s playing versus Rocky Carson, so he's doing his job correctly. Rocky Carson, drive serve to Portillo. Carson from the back and cross court. What a good pass there by Carson, getting another point. Thomas Carter is now our referee for this match. Yes, let's talk again. The second one of our matches. We didn't get any updates on the other round of 16s. Bobby, Hor Bobby Horn won his first game versus Samuel Murray. They're in the second game right now. Uh, Alvaro Beltran won the first game versus Eduardo Garay. They're in the second game as we speak. Very good match by uh, Alvaro Beltran and Eduardo Garay. Drive served by Carson. Carson looking down the line. Point what there. What a great serve by Rocky Carson. It's a good setup because of that. Carson, another point to score. Eduardo just trying to figure this one out. You know, I, I don't want to say he might be starstruck, but um, there was a picture we put on our Facebook page of uh, Eduardo Portillo when he was about 12 years old. And he's sitting, ne he's standing next to Ronda Racious and Rocky Carson. 
So we had like a little throwback Thursdays of the, those pictures. Well, listen, anytime you play against one of your heroes or your idols, you are starstruck and you are intimidated. You know, but again, Lado Portillo, one of the best junior players in Mexico. I've always seen him rise up to the occasion, so. I, I watched him play uh, two years ago at the Junior Worlds. He was in the finals against Daniel Rojas, uh, Daniel Moro Rojas, and it was, I think, like an 11 uh, 9 or something. It was a great match. Uh, USA won the match. Rocky is owning center court right now, and he's pushing Portillo all over the court to start off. Now, sometimes that's a little bit of Rocky play. You know, uh, he wants to, um, you know, wear out his opponent, so to speak. Plus, again, uh, I, I did interview Kane before. He was saying how there was a couple rallies that, you know, he kept the ball alive because he wanted to, you know, get some court time in, you know, get his feet moving, get his, you know, he's like, I could have killed the ball, but I need to also, you know, work. So I thought that was very interesting, Fabio. Well, yeah, and, you know, the last time Rocky was playing a uh, tour was uh, back in Bolivia. He's had some time to recover and adjust. There you go. What a get by Rocky Carson. Oh, Portillo keeping that ball alive in the backcourt. Carson again. Portillo, see what I'm talking about, that reach. reach. Fantastic reach for Portillo, keeping that ball alive. Going to kill for it. Gets a set up there by Rocky. Pin. Oh. Nice kill shot right wow. there. Wow, what an effort by Portillo. Again, that reach that he has, keeping that ball alive is tremendous. Time out. So Rocky's trying to see if he can call, if he can just stop and blow his nose. He needs a timeout. He would need a timeout. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's that. We're trying to pull up the draw to see if any of those other matches are over. One serving five on the head pen scoreboard. So, so far, like we said before, only one of the round of 16 matches are in the books. Portillo with a setup from Rocky. Oh, unfortunately, oh, he got splinters on that one. He tried to kill that shot in the right corner for a splat shot. Not available, not the smartest shot. I mean, Portillo was clear right in front of Carson, but I thought he was going to go for a pass on the back. However, Portillo chose differently. So now side out. Rocky Carson to sever again. Carson. Drive, sir. Portillo. Was that Carson. a wrap? Keeping it alive. Wow, <laughs> what hands and what reaction. I tell you, I'd like to see Portillo <laughs> uh, be a little more aggressive, Fabio. He's having a lot of respect for Rocky. He's, he needs to lose that respect. He's, <laughs> He's got to lose it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's got to lose that respect. Timmy Hansen checking in. Florida's okay. This, this is your weather, Timmy. Going over to Siesta Keys Beach if, right after this match. We have a break in the action. Alexis Awasha, Awasa is watching. Ceiling shot there by Portillo. Getting Rocky is set up. Portillo from the back. Skip shot. Trying to look for the corner there. Smart shot, but unfortunately didn't make it. Now Rocky Carson, again with the serve. Let's see what it goes with. Taking his time, wiping his glasses. Uh, there was a referee yesterday gave uh, Eduardo Garay like two technicals, one for taking too much time in between serves, and one for stepping out, stepping off the court without a timeout to get a glove from his coach. 
timeout on the court right there by Portier. We'll take a short break ourselves right here on the IRT Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time is in on the court. Rocky Carson. Eight serving one on the head pen scoreboard. Carson serving, drive serve. The IRT wants to give a special thanks to Gearbox for being one of our inside industry partners. Check out all the latest and innovative equipment from Gearbox. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. Check them out online today, www.gearboxsports.com. Back to the action. Center court, Sarasota. Not a smart shot by Portilla. Down Rocky the line, makes Carson. Him pay. Makes him pay. IRT wants to give a special thank, out, thank you to one of our nonprofit organizations and also one of our sponsors of this particular event, the Rafa House. Their mission is to end the trafficking and sexual exploitation of children throughout aftercare for survivors, prevention for the vulnerable, and awareness for all. www.rafahouse.org. That charity is set up by Sal and D. Percante. Big supporters of this Florida racquetball tour. Also one of the owners and board members of the IRT. I think that skipped. That was a good shot called by Thomas Carter. Yeah. It was a good shot. Looked like a skip from my, uh, where it I'm sitting. Shane DeWitt is watching. Pablo Farre is watching. Down the line. I did not see if Fran Davis is in the box. Frank Catalano is watching. Rocky Carson setting it up. Ten serving one on the head pen scoreboard. Carson in complete control. Timeout was taken by Portillo, but no adjustments were made. Yeah, I thought I was going to see a different Eduardo Portillo coming in from that timeout, but but no. I just see him being very distanced from him and uh, just being respectful still. And I know. This, take a look at his body language. But, I mean, he's not that, you know, I, I, he's not like a sharp, focused guy to begin with. Um, but I, I just, I, I expect a little more from Eduardo Portillo. Yeah, a lack of concentration there by Eduardo Portillo with that shot. You know, here's the thing that what, about what I like about his game. I mentioned earlier that he has good reach, good court coverage. But what I like about him still is also this. He ha we say in Mexico that he has uh, ice in his veins just running because we don't see him get emotional. He's just a, he's just a killer instinct that he has playing against top players over there, and it's just good. And he's, his, he's been doing very well in the open draw in Mexico. You know, he exited the juniors. Um, this is his first year out of juniors. So he's in the open draw, and he's just doing really well. But right now, I'm just seeing that lack of. Yeah, I mean, like I mentioned before, uh, he, he's played in um, 14 of our events. 
you know, and he's got a winning record. Nine and five, that's not bad. Yeah, and, you know, he's getting to this round of 16s almost often. So, you know, that's good. I'm, we're seeing good stuff from he him. He got there in Chicago. He got there here. And in Chicago, he won the open draw as well. Yes. Against Maurice Miller. That was a great that match. Was a great, uh, that was a great uh, tiebreaker match. Not 11-10 like you like him, Dean, but still a great match. Yeah. It was 11-3 if I'm not mistaken. That was this is not going to be an 11-10 breaker. I, I don't know. Is so this not going to be an 11 10 or it's not going to be a tiebreaker? I don't think it's going to be a tiebreaker. <laughs> well, unless, unless I see unless I see a different portier. Unless we're in Bolivia, right? Then, <laughs> then it's a tiebreaker. Ouch. Soto. I apologize to Coach Fran Davis for that comment. <laughs> Eduardo Portillo going for lob serve to the right to Rocky Carson. Carson with the overhead. It's a big setup. Not a smart shot there by Ro by Portillo and Rocky Carson capitalizing on that cross court. Fantastic shot, killing that ball. 13 serving one on the head pen scoreboard. The IRT would love to spend a, send a special thanks to Freight Management and Logistics. They sponsor many of our pro stops all over the U.S. and are a big supporter of the IRT. With over 30 years in the transportation industry, Freight Management can handle any of your shipping needs. Whether it's LTL, truckload, flatbed, refrigerated, Ooh. intermodal, or trade shows, Freight Management Logistics is the provider of, of choice. By leveraging their experience with industry knowledge and technology, they are able to bring your cost savings and visibility, setting new standards for operational excellence. Do yourself a favor. Call 1-877-610-SHIP or go to fmlfreight.com where total system coverage makes satisfied customers. Freight Management Logistics proudly serving all of your transportation needs. Thank you, Mr. Rod Southwood. Portia serving. Portillo. Cross court. Got caught behind Rocky Carson and an easy pinch right there by Carson to set himself up for his first game point opportunity. 13. Sorry, I thought it was 14. My bad. 13 serving one, Carson in the service box. Drive serve from Carson. Short. Rocky keeping it alive, what a get there. Portillo giving Rocky a setup. Unfortunately, skip, skip shot right by there. Rocky, wow. That was a little too close to the back ball for Rocky to make a full swing. One point by Portillo. Oh, Rocky skipped an easy one in right there, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Two serving 13 now on the head pen scoreboard. Short serve there by Portillo. Second chance. Lob there. Down the line. Great reach by Portillo. Rocky with the overhead. Another one, good one by Portillo. Another one by Portillo. What a get. Rocky Carson just forgiving him. Gets a setup from the back. Carson trying to go down the line. Nice the rally shot. there by Portillo. Wow. Eduardo Portillo, outstanding defense. Great gets. That's what we were talking about. That's what we wanted to see right there. For this just in, breaking news, David Horn takes out 
Sam Big Canada Murray. Bobby Horan now reaching the quarterfinals. Yep, she'll be on tonight uh, at 6 p.m. taking on the winner of Bredenbeck and Parilla. Who are playing in the court right next to us, by the way. Yeah, there. that's a, uh, a 10 o'clock match. Still going on. Four serving third. So creeping and crawling back in here is Portillo. Portillo, drive serve coming up. Short serve there. Nick serve there. Rocky going down the line. Well, Perfect that's his, shot. You know, that's his signature. <laughs> there you go. He gets that side out now. 13 serving four. Called by Thomas Carter at the head pen scoreboard. Rocky Carson looking to close this in. He's two points away from winning this first game. Rocky looks like he's going for the drive serve. He is. Down the line, great get by Portillo. Carson. Oh, almost. Good reach there by Eduardo Portillo. Unfortunately, couldn't get it. And so now Carson, one point away from closing in this first game. First game point opportunity for Carson in the service box is Rocky Carson. Drive serve coming up from Carson. Good serve there. Good spin around. I like what Portillo did there. Spun around, it took that ball as a forehand and drilled it right back down the line, really furthest away from Rocky Carson. Gets himself in the service box at 4-14. No lack of concentration there by Portillo. It would have been very easy for him to just, I, I want to say mail it in, you know? Yeah. So as Portillo staves off his first elimination, the IRT wants to talk about one of our other nonprofit organizations out there, the Live Like John Foundation. Their mission, the Live Like John nonprofit, is dedicated to furthering the organizations that made an impact on the life of Special uh, Corporal John A. Pelham. www.livelikejohn.us. They are the title sponsor of our tournament in Portland, what a diving get there by Carson. Great passing shot of his own down the line is Portillo. What a way to Portillo to get in this game. He's down 6-14 now, but he's still in it. Driving, serving again. You know, he's changing a little pace. He's picking it up a little, a little too late, I think, but still, he's still in it. Portillo with a drive serve, short, getting a second chance there. Lob serve to Rocky's backhand. Rocky with a ceiling shot. Portillo, oh, wallpaper. Wall wallpaper right there. Portillo gets a set up from the back. Skip shot. Rolled it in. That was a skip. <laughs> Look at Rocky's oh. face. Rocky's face was priceless right there. Oh. Ref calls it, ref calls it a skip, uh, a, a good shot. He's gonna get he's gonna get a couple of words right there. He's calling a timeout for the referee. So uh, gr good words of wisdom uh, in the chat box by the great Sudzy Monchek. He says he's a great kid, needs to play with higher energy, more urgency, and Rocky's getting a little mentally lazy with a huge lead. It's very normal. Absolutely right, Suds. Uh, to be honest. So time out on the court. We're going to stay right here and talk to you. Um, go through a couple of the, uh, what, what we were saying, uh, Bobby Horn, that match is over. Uh, I'm pulling up the, uh, the other matches.
as we speak right now. I'm trying to get the heads up on them. And we're going to have those. So what do you think of Florida so far, Fabio? You know what? Uh, we were we were here not too long ago, Dean. We had to come here to get to Bolivia. We made a that stop. That was Miami. Yeah, well, oh, um, you said Florida. Different. You said Florida. Oh, good you point. You said Florida. You said all right, Florida. So, all right, all yeah, right. Yeah, we were right. in Miami about no more than three weeks ago because we stopped here to get to, to Cochabamba. You know, but I like Florida. Sarasota, I've never been. Great town. Very humid, though. Yeah, I, Very said, humid. I said that to you last night. I felt like we were like almost like really uh, with, like sweaty. Yes. <laughs> that the humidity was a little bit of a killer. So, ladies and gentlemen, Andre Perea takes out Jake Bredenbeck, 11 and 9. So, Perea will face David Horn at 6 p.m. Uh, Beltran and Garay still going on. So if we if we have then uh, Andre Parrilla versus Bobby Horn, I like that match. Those guys play with high energy. We're gonna see a lot of diving from those gentlemen. 2018 Chicago finalists. That is true. Bobby Horn versus Andre Parrilla. I like them both. They play with high energy. I think that that match is gonna be. We're gonna see a lot of diving, a lot of towel timeouts there. Rocky Carson. Trying to close in with another game point right here. Looks like he's going for the drive serve. Short serve. Second chance by Carson. So Alvaro won the first game against Gare, and he is up in game two. Wow. What a <laughs> <laughs> wow, game one in the books, what ladies and a, gentlemen. What a way to finish it. Did you expect that, Dean? No, not at oh, all. Oh, oh. What a s calm and nice Z serve there. And Eduardo just looked at the ball. He didn't even take a swing at it. Fantastic. How do you do that? How do you not take a swing? <laughs> you're, you, you're Rocky so, Carson. Yeah, game, game one in the books. We'll take a short break right here on the IRT Network.
And we're back live here, ladies and gentlemen, the second game of this round of 16 match between the number two seed, Rocky Carson, and Eduardo Portillo. Rocky Carson with the serve, starting things off here in the second game. Drive serve there. Portillo kills that ball going in the left corner. Good shot from here, getting a side out. Well, I'll tell everybody listening and watching this that uh, Alvaro Beltran beat Eduardo Garay two games to none. So Alvaro Beltran advances to the quarters, which will be later tonight at 5 p.m. versus Kane Wazelenchuk. The other quarterfinal match later tonight would be Bobby Horn versus Andre Parilla. That would be at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. The other quarterfinal matches are still being set up. Players that are going to be on the court as of now. One serving zero. The head pen scoreboard. Eduardo Portillo from San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Coming here to play in the qualifiers. Making this round of 16s here with Rocky Carson. Rocky down the line. Perfect shot right there. Getting a side out. 0-1 now on the head pen scoreboard. Rocky with the drive serve. Short, second chance. I want to say hi to Coach Fran Davis watching this match. Fran Davis, of course, coach of Rocky Carson, coach of Paolo Longoria in the LPRT Tour. Paolo Longoria playing this weekend at the Battle at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. LPRT, Tier 1. So I'm sure Coach Fran Davis is busy watching both tournaments. Eduardo Portillo at the serve again. Drive serving Rocky to the left. Rocky down the line. Overhead shot there. Wow, what a change of pace there. Rocky just killing that ball on the right side. Wow, what a great shot by Carson. Carson with the drive. Caesar. Eduardo keeping it alive. Rocky passing. And oh, unfortunately, that ball just stuck to the wall. And Eduardo Partido got more wall than ball. Now 1-1. One, one. Rocky's on the board. Rocky playing his first tournament since coming from Bolivia. Caesar again to Eduardo's backhand. Portillo. Carson. Wow. Kill shot to the left. Carson now on top. 2-1 in the head pen scoreboard. Good start to this game, huh, Fabio? Thanks for taking over the controls. Yeah, good start. You know, Portillo was up 1-0. Now Rocky's up 2-1. Rocky's been doing that Caesar to Portillo has been quite effective. Portillo skipping that ball. See, that's the, when, that was, uh, it, it appears to be a setup, but it's very difficult. Uh, Portillo tracked the ball very well, but what I don't like what he did is he went for the pinch roll. And if he just went for a cross court or down the line there, you know, he might not have skipped that ball. Great shot by Rocky, but a better return by Portillo. And Rocky acknowledges, gave him the point right there. Yeah, the, the, that first quarterfinal match tonight, 5 p.m. is all set. Kane Waslin, Chuck, Alvaro, Beltran. So all going to plan. Horn, you can't say that Bobby Horn over Sam Murray is an upset because it's really not. Um, no, it's really not. And, you know, Horn played fantastic. He beat Sam Murray in two games. You know, he played better, but, you know, it, you can't say that really. But, you know, statistically speaking, it was. It was an upset. Well, this is one of the reasons why. What a get. Wow. This is one of the reasons of the flip draw. 
And this is a prime example right here because Sam Murray is the, uh, I think he's the uh, seventh seed, seventh ranked player on tour. And because of the flip, he comes in at the five slot. So Bobby Horn played Sam Murray instead of a, um, a Daniel De La Rosa. Uh, you know, so, and, and this is how the players' movements, you know, you know, work out a little bit better. That's the prime example right there. Now, Bredenbeck, which was 13, he's coming against the four. That's going to always be. Uh, the, you know, Perea happens to be the four. It's usually De La Rosa. Uh, so, so that was good right there. The, um, the problem is, is a guy like Montoya, he said, oh, why do I have to play, uh, you know, Daniel? He's, he's ranked five, not seven. You know, and but I had to explain the flip. flip draw to him. So, you know, so for someone who's in the 10th seed, he's going to have to play a harder opponent well, in one of our flip draws. Unfortunately for, for that, for us, is that we, we like to have, you know, four broadcasting teams at this moment because we got really, really great matches we, at this moment. We said it before, absolutely. So, the, so the what do we got, Dean? What other matches that we got right now going on so while right Rocky Carson is playing Eduardo Portillo? De La Rosa and Montoya, they just started. I saw that going on. Diaz and Franco, um, Landa and Acuna, um, they're, they're also uh, getting ready to start. So those are the other three matches. Uh, the two quarterfinals are Set Horn, Perea, Beltran, Kane, uh, 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So Kane, Waslinchuk, Beltran, 5 p.m. Perea, Horn, 6 p.m. Um, Another point by Carson there. Eduardo Portillo making an effort. Four two. Well, four serving two now in the head pen scoreboard. Rocky up by two points here in the second game. Speaking of head pen, they're not only the scoreboard sponsor of the IRT, they're not just the official ball of the IRT. W O R U S A R. And LPRT Headpen is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out online today, www.head.com slash racquetball. Another point there scored by Carson. Both of these players in this rally was great. They had great coverage, right to left, centered in the front. But unfortunately, Rocky Carson got the best of it. Now he's drive serving again. Rocky up 5-2 in the Headpen scoreboard. Rocky drive serving Portillo to his backhand down the line. Great setup there. And Portillo. Splash shot. Wow. Good shot there by Portillo. Great shot by Portillo. And Rocky Carson had great court position. He was in the front, but that ball was like an inch and a half above the ground, so unfortunately cannot get it. So Carson set to receive. Portillo serve. I'm not seeing that much of a different Eduardo Portillo right now from the first game, Dean. I thought I was. You know, he right now, uh, Eduardo Portillo, his coach is Ruben Martinez from San Luis Potosí. And right now, he's actually being coached by his doubles partner, Elias Nieto, who's also from San Luis Potosí. Both of these kids coming in from Mexico to come play this tournament. Yeah, they both were in... Uh, uh, I think Nieto was in Chicago also. He was in Chicago. And he was in L.A. Yeah, and, and he played yesterday in the qualifiers. Unfortunately, he didn't get past this round. He lost against uh, Robbie Collins. Yeah. Two serving five now on the head pen scoreboard. Eduardo Portillo. Drive serve short. Second chance. What do you think about his body language now? Any different from game one? No, you, you, you summed it up before when you said that's kind of his makeup. I like that he's trying all these different serves, but against someone like Carson, I think he needs to stick to one thing and do it well. So I don't know if in his racquetball repertoire, if Portilla has that go-to serve. Like I don't see a specific serve that he uh you know is aggressive with and that he's got almost mastered he's very good at a lot of different serves and i don't know if that's going to be enough against a higher opponent like a rocky carson 
you know, he, uh, uh, Portilla made the round of 16s in, um, in Bolivia. Bolivia. He did. He took out a, a Rodrigo, a very tired uh, Rodrigo Montoya, who flew in that Thursday, and uh, for for a school thing. But you know, he said that's the only way he can come to the event. That was an 11-10 tiebreaker, if I'm not mistaken. No, oh, no, I'm no, sorry. That was Gerardo that, Franco. Yeah. No, Rodrigo Montoya got eliminated by Gerardo Franco. Yeah. Yeah. And and but Portillo did reach. No, he he lost to Perea. Yeah. yeah. He Perea. lost to under Perea. Uh, Montoya lost to Franco. You're right. Yeah. But Portillo played played um, Perea. He played really the, well. Really and he, well. He did very well. He had opportunity after opportunity. No, and you know what, Portillo wasn't. Here's the thing that I got to credit him for. That wasn't his first uh, event in Bolivia. He's been there for Junior Worlds, other qualifying, and uh, he he's played there, so he knew basically what was going on in Bolivia. So he, he had a great performance. Wow, point by Carson there, cross court. Seven serving two, and now Eduardo Portillo asking for a timeout. Yeah, timeout on the court. We'll, we'll stay right here. Uh, you know, lot to lot to discuss. So let, let's get back to that. Um, like I said before, I, I'm not seeing um, you know the fire in uh, Portilla, and I and I want to. We well, see, we've seen him play more aggressively. He's not right now, and you know Carson is just he, he's he's doing his job. He's got him at, he's putting him at bay. He's seven two, not too different from the first game. He and Eduardo Portillo in the first game he asked for a timeout at eight one. So it's pretty much the same pace right now, Dean. Yeah, um, and, and Portillo is getting you know uh, some some messages from his uh, his doubles partner. You said Nieto, uh, but you know Nieto, it, it's not the caliber of uh, of a corner man that Portillo could really use in a in a match like this. And it, it might be uh, it might not be anything technical. It might be just a fire in the pants type of speech. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Just to just to get a little change of direction, uh, you know, for Portilla. But I I do agree that he asked for a timeout at a very good time. And so, tell everybody, Dean, what Coach Fran Davis says about winning a match. If, about losing a match. About losing. If a match you time. lose a match and you have a timeout, you didn't do everything you can do to win. Exactly. That's her words. Not I mine. I agree totally with Coach Fran Davis on that one. I don't know. I don't really agree with her too often. But on that <laughs> one, on that one, I said on that one. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. <laughs> Be careful, Dean. She's listening to us. Yeah, I know. Eight two. Felipe wants a regular update. Uh, the other matches, the other three matches just got underway. We have our, our, our first set of quarterfinals all set up. So um, none of the games are over yet. Good passing kill shot right there by Carson. Landa and Acuna. Uh, that's something. They're playing the court right next to us. That's another round of 16 match. So Carson again, going for that drive serve. Going for Portillo's backhand, Portillo. Whoa. It's an avoidable shot right there. Rocky said thank you. <laughs> thank that you for not taking it? Yeah, is that, is that, that, it? Was, that was close. No, but obviously, Portillo, a very experienced player. He, he, he's very careful with this place. He's very respectful. We've never had an issue with him in Mexico about him hitting someone, so I didn't expect that to happen here either. Wow. Ball, ball again, again. Wow. Nice down the line there by Portillo. And the fist pump. Okay, a Reflex. little bit of life. Reflexes there, right, man? Not, not just strength, not just speed, also reflexes. And Portillo right there, he was at the right place at the right time. Yeah, you know, but I, I'll, if, I, if I replay that rally in my head, there was a couple of opportunities where I just, I wasn't too thrilled with Portillo's shot selection. See, like right there. That's a pinch, and Carson's right there. 
Carson's right there. Wow, what a get. Another get, defense, defense. And here comes the setup he wants. Oh. See, there's the mistake. He, he lived to tell the tale. Skip ball by wow. Carson. Wow. Wow. See, you may Good not. Good rally. Nobody's clapping for that. Oh, it's a, they woke up now. We're going to have a, Portillo would like a timeout, but he does not own one. He might want to purchase one from Rocky Carson right now. Yeah, you're going to see a towel timeout. They, the players are actively looking for a wet spot. But, you know, it, 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 Portillo was diving every inch of the court. So you know, if they want to wipe the court, it's got to be the whole court. Listen, I'm, I'm not saying that. I mean, kudos to Portillo for getting the best of that. However, you got to realize the fact that he had to dive and he had to make all those plays because his offensive shot selection was not well. He wasn't taking the shots he was supposed to take. So he had to make a gigantic effort to make up for those shots. Yeah, there was a couple of times where Portilla had a good setup and he just elected to take a pinch. And when he missed the pinch, it was really high. And Carson was right there. Uh, you know, he has to kind of, he has to kill that ball. And I'm not even saying with a pinch. He won that rally, but yeah, no. he can't afford to keep doing that. And, and he can't afford to keep using this, this rap uh, serve. It's not really going to fool a Rocky Carson. It's not. You know, he did it three serves in a row now. Landa and Acuna in the court right next to us. Landa just put a nice little pinch kill shot. Acuna was playing very well yes last night here. Took out um, uh, Jansen Allen. Listen, I'm always glad to see these international players coming in the U.S. and play. Andres Acuna, for people who don't know, he's from Costa Rica. He's part of the national team. He will represent uh, Costa Rica along with Felipe Camacho at the Pan Ams this year in Lima, Peru. So when is that? Lima, Peru, the Pan Games are going to be in August. So I'm very glad to see Acuna come here and play. We got a lot of Colombian players here, Mario Mercado, Eduardo Garay, Seth Cubillos. We got all these international players come in, obviously the players from Mexico. So always glad to see these guys mixing it up. Portillo, the short serve, gets a second chance. Down the line, Carson. Portillo keeping the live reflexes there by Carson. Wow. Good cross-court pass right there. Yeah. See, that's what I was talking about. He, he's been pinch, 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 and when he throws a cross-court in, he was able to. Rocky checking the score. 9-5. So, so there's a Carlos Flores in the box who was asking, if Kane had played hockey and not ragged ball, would we be talking about Rocky as one of the best ever? Um, it's, it's quite possible. Uh, I mean, Rocky Carson is one of the most decorated professional players uh, on a world stage. Uh, Rock, Rock, Rocky, in the IRT, different story. Yeah, but Rocky's a fantastic player. I mean, he's a future Hall of Famer, obviously, in the, in the Racquetball Hall of Fame, no doubt about that. Well, I mean, you saw it. Uh, the, the greetings that he got from the Bolivian wow. culture. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Racquetball, Bolivia Racquetball community. A serve right there by Portilla. Timeout coming from, he Be wants to check the ball first. People were lining up to get Rocky Carson's picture and autographs. And you know what? People love Rocky Carson over there in Bolivia. He was well greeted at the airport, so really cool. So timeout on the court. We'll take a short break right here on the IRT Network.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I know all of you are asking uh, in the box to get score updates. We are working on that right now. Um, Scott, life in, oh no, someone's asking about how life in West Virginia, I don't know. Tony is in West Virginia. Mr. Josh Epstein is in the chat box too. We're getting those scores to you uh, now. Time back in here, our second match. You can check out the uh, R2 Sports website for this. Uh, you can go to our, our events page. You can click on the Florida tournament. It should bring you to the tournament website, which then you can choose the main pro draw. You can see the updated scores once we finish here with this match. Oh, rush that shot right there by Eduardo Portillo. Did you know where Rollout.com is the official apparel sponsor of the IRT? Rollout offers a complete line of IRT and other lifestyle racquetball clothing. Not only is Rollout the number one clothing company in our industry, but they also produce custom racquetball shirts for tournaments, teams, and other clients across the country. Retail or custom, WearRollout.com is the go-to source for racquetball clothing worldwide. Shop WearRollout.com today and support the official apparel sponsor of the IRT. Back to the action on center court. Carson serving. Drive serve. Portilla goes up top. Carson shoots. What a get by Portilla right there. Down the line, Carson. Portillo keeping it up. Carson with a setup from the back and kills Beautiful the ball. Beautiful kill shot wow. by Rocky Carson. Textbook kill shot right there, Dean. Fantastic play, fantastic opportunity. And even though he hit the ball in Portillo's sight, ball was two inches off the ground. Was excellent. Good shot right there. So we got a quick update, Franco 7-5, game one. So Franco's up against Jose Diaz. They are in game one, that's the first update right there. Carson serving, 11-7, into the corner. Oh, what great little hands right there by Haraki Carson. 12 serving seven on the head. 10 scoreboard. So Rocky Carson, three points shy of closing in on the second uh, set and closing in on this match to advance to the quarterfinals. So uh, Suzy Manchek puts in the box there. You know, you need to kill balls at this level to win points, games, matches, and tournaments. Absolutely correct. Suzy, I agree with you. Rocky Carson went for the kill shot right there and came up short, but I definitely agree with you. There's the difference, Kane Waslinchuk kills the ball. Ryan Niss is checking in from Stuttgart, Germany. I ha I've been to Germany, not to Stuttgart though. And look who is in the box, Laura Edmondson. Landa is up 11 to two in game one. DLR wins game one, 15-12. Rocky Carson kills that ball right there. Twelve seven again, Carson with the serve. Carson looking to the drive serve. Down the line for Portillo. Oh, Portillo got the best of that ball. Great return serve there. Side out, Portillo keeping it alive here, seven to 12. You know, Portillo getting a better result here. Has more points scored than the first game. Spin around to Carson. Gets a setup. 
Portillo cross courts it. Carson from the back. Portillo, Carson with a setup. Portillo down the line. He gets the best of that one. But Point you see, for Portillo. it really took it really took um, you know, Portillo to actually kill that ball. He and he's hitting the ball very high. Yes. Uh, and and I'm and I'm wondering if it's uh, the ball's just coming at him and his decision making isn't quick enough, or if his contact point is just really high. Not a fan of this serve. Keep it alive. Carson, Portillo from the back, set up for Carson. Wow. <laughs> wow, Rocky killing that ball. Rocky again with the serve, 12-7, three points shy. Both of these gentlemen looking at the floor, looking if there's any wet spots, but no. 12-8, I'm sorry, that's the score. Head pen scoreboard. Rocky looking to see if we're gonna get a drive serve from him. Oh. Good return by Eduardo. For Dio. And you know what? Rocky's court position was really well. He was there, but unfortunately, <laughs> you know, that ball, he can control it in the front. What, well, like I said before, what I'm seeing so far is that Portillo is trying, to, I don't want to say tr use the word trick, but he's trying to, you know, make Rocky guess, and Rocky knows where he's going with the ball. So, you know, recognize that, and then uh, the adjustment that Portillo needs to make is he, he needs to put the ball away. How, how... And I agree with you, but how can you make a Rocky Carson above all people guess? Well, like listen, <laughs> if you keep hitting the ball three feet high, you're not winning this match. You're not. You know, I'll check with uh, I'll check with Sudzy Monchek watching at home. Sudzy, your thoughts right there: patience, recognition, execution. Sudzy, that's a commercial. I have to put that on a shirt. <laughs> Carson now, from the left side. See, this is where I like for him to serve. He has a lot more options here to fool his player. He's telling him, go to the right. <laughs> oh. Kill Way to shot. stay with it. I, I don't think Rocky got that ball. I, I really, I, I think he didn't. Rocky but, fixing but, his shoes. But the ref sees it differently, so. With his special court grabber shoes on there. So, eight serving 12, are we going to a breaker? 11-10. Wow, Nine, what, a, 12. what a great serve. It hit the crack, you know, broke Rocky's concentration, and now Portillo's only three points away from Rocky Carson. Rocky showing a little fire, missed an easy one. Portillo serving. 9-12, the head fence scoreboard. Short serve. Portillo with the second chance now. So, Portillo stays alive. See, look, nice high lob to the forehand. Good choice right there by Portillo. Goes back to the forehand. Oh, you know, Portillo had a good court position. Unfortunately, that ball really, really low. Carson again with the serve. 12-9. In the head pen scoreboard. Rocky. With the drive serve. Almost hit the crack. He gets a setup. Down the line. Didn't make it. Side out. Now Portillo's, he, Portillo's in it. He's in it now. Yeah, you know. He was he was down two to eight. And he's in it. Now we're seeing Rocky dive a little more than usual. Taking a little time here. So what's the consensus? Does Rocky Carson's match because it's it was the first one started, does it finish first or do these other three matches finish prior? 
You know, uh, that's a that's a good question. I don't I don't think this is. I mean, listen, Dean. If I have to put money on this, I would say Rocky Carson does finish in two, but it's not going to finish in, in in five minutes though. So there's no three aces coming from Carson. I don't think so. I don't. Good point. Good point. Maybe one ace, not three. Portillo looking for that lob on the right. Portillo trying to kill that ball. Is that a point or a replay? 12-9. Now Rocky with the serve. Looking, looking at a drive serve. Carson trailing. go wow can't catch up to that one Portilla Rocky just masterfully putting that ball away now 13 serving nine Carson two points away from closing in on this match looks more concentrated <laughs> looking I love it when he looks at the, uh, his opponent just like challenging him <laughs> I love it good oh, bullet right there. there Carson Oh, see, I, I said he he do one ace. That's, that's what, what I, I was saying before. Uh, that 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 I don't see from Portilla. I don't see that one serve that you know makes a difference in his game, like that go to. You know, you're you're at a ten ten breaker. What serve do you do? You know, like, do you have a a go to? Match point here by Carson. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that, Dean? That was a Kane Waslin chuck shot. <laughs> that was what. What a speed change that right there. That took cojones. Yeah, cojones? That, that <laughs> took cojones. Oh, yeah. Cojones? Yeah, Is a, that like a corona? <laughs> yeah, that's a gutsy shot right there by Portillo. That's a gamble that he took. Fortunately, it worked in his favor. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with, with his drive serve. And, and to the ref's defense, I mean, it's clearly short. You know, this isn't your first game. So you know it's short. Good diving pick up there by Portillo. What oh, wow. a flatty wow. by Carson. Well, you know what? That Oof. ball was really, really low. I mean, it came off the back wall, but very close to it. I didn't think Rocky was going to have a full swing, but he did, and he that killed was, the ball. That was the first FF of the weekend. Yeah. A Florida flatty. That, that, I agree. <laughs> That's, that was. First one. Second match point here by Carson. Short, Short serve. serve. There you go. Does Portillo hold him off? I don't think he can risk. He can afford to take another gamble like he did on the last match point. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's trying to go for that same one. There it is, ladies. Oh, good setup there by Portillo. Replay. <laughs> replay. I, I agree. Hashtag just, just a, re a replay. I agree with the ref. It's a replay. I agree with you him. know why? Because he took a backhand. If no. he turned around for a forehand. That would have been a different story. That would have been a it different story. It would have story. been an instant. Yeah, that would be a different but story. You, do you know why he went with the backhand? Because why? he figured he could box his opponent out. Probably, yeah, I agree. It is what it is. Whoa. Game two in the books, ladies Match and point. Gentlemen, match point right there. Game set match. One of our other quarterfinal oh. matches. Rocky Carson will take on De La Rosa or Montoya. We'll see how that works right here. We'll take a short break right now. We'll come back with Rocky Carson, the winner of this match here on the IRT Network. <laughs>
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear, voice of the IRT. <laughs> We're here at the 2019 Florida IRT Pro-Am in sunny Sarasota, Florida. I'm sitting courtside with the Rocky Carson. Rocky, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Uh, he's a good player. Well, uh, yeah, you don't want to win a world championship uh, <laughs> in the juniors not being a great player. You know, that's the future of our, uh, of our uh, you know, of our tour right there. And, uh, you know, he's tough, man. I Good think he was a little too. starstruck in the beginning. Yeah, you know what? I was executing really well, and um, the serves were going, and I had him off balance, and, you know, he made the adjustments afterwards. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about, uh, you know, I know we this is our first event back from Bolivia. It's very unbolivian like here, yeah. right? Uh, uh, but it's, it's the regular action for us. So how did you feel in Bolivia? We didn't get a chance to talk at the end, you yeah. know, almost like a recap on online. I mean, me and you talked. Right. Uh, but, you know, for our fans, uh, anything you want to tell them about yeah, that I experience? Think, yeah, you know what, for a lot of uh, a lot of you guys that were at home watching us, uh, that was special. It was, uh, you know, it's the second biggest sport in that country, and, and they treat it um, like it really is. And, and uh, it's neat to see the, the passion they have. Uh, for it as well as not just the the for the sport but for the players as well it meant a lot to them that i think that the tour came down and and it was neat to see that they really uh um, valued that and and valued each player too yeah it was a really good experience like like yeah. you said they treated us uh That's some of the things we would, me and uh, Fabio were talking about earlier uh, during Kane's match and mm -hmm. then against your match. When you're the number one seed, you're the number two seed, you're playing, you know, an opponent, obviously not a high-ranked opponent, but, you know, they've played yesterday. You know, they've got accustomed to playing while they're here. Right. This is your, uh, you played sponsored match. doubles. This is your first match. Yeah. You know, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you working on a specific thing, usually in the round of 16s? If but you if you see it's going the way you want yeah, it to go, yeah, potentially at times, and and there's some things that definitely we're doing. At, at the same time, uh, uh, Kane and I, I think pretty much going the with the mentality of hey, let's get in in the court and off the court, and uh, um, you know some of the guys are a little bit more relaxed. I don't think uh, I definitely am not. Um, I want to get in there and, and take care of business, uh, and um, you know I was doing my best today, and you know it was my first time I've hit in a little bit of time. Uh, um, being under the weather, so a lot of it was just resting up to get ready for this. And um, I feel strong, I feel physical, and I started getting sharper at the end at, at certain parts of the match. So, you know, that's the big thing. You don't always expect to play your best at the beginning, so you expect to play play yourself hopefully into the matches uh, every uh, every round and stuff, getting the timing down a little bit more and more. That's something that was uh, brought up in the chat box by your, your former doubles partner, <laughs> Sudzi Monchek, how yeah. uh, in game one you had a very large lead, right. and it slowly went, it, the gap right. closed a little bit, and it, it said a little mental uh, mental lapse there, a little less focus, you know, you let somebody yeah, in he, the match. And he, yeah, and he made some adjustments. I missed some shots. Um, you know, you're not always going to play uh, top-notch ball and uh, maybe a little bit of, uh, hey, I'm going to go in there and practice a couple things, so. Luckily, uh, made a couple shots when I needed to and got off the court as well as on the second game. Um, was able to do the same as well. 
Well, congratulations again. You're the uh, final match of the quarterfinals. You have okay. the eight. Uh, you have the eight p.m. match. Okay. Um, so we'll see you later on tonight. Congratulations yeah, on your you. round of sixteens. You go get some rest. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> Good for you. I'm gonna grab some there lunch go, on the beach. <laughs> so thanks again, Rocky. We'll yeah, see you, uh, you later on tonight. All right, so, ladies you. and gentlemen, here from the 2019 Florida IRT Pro Am in sunny Sarasota, Florida. I'm Dean Bear along courtside with Rocky Carson. We'll see you later on tonight, 5 p.m. for the first quarterfinal match. Kane Waslinchuk, uh, uh, Alvaro Beltran, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the IRT Network.